Hi, my name is Richard Chang. I'm an incoming sophomore at Princeton University. I did MUN all four years in high school. Junior year, I was the chair of the OAS. And I can honestly say that MUN has shaped my life in so many ways. And, and in many ways, I am very grateful for the relationships I've made in MUN, um, what I've learned, and, and how it's shaped my character and my vision for, for life. And so, I feel like MUN has influenced me in three significant ways. And the first way is um, how it's given me an international mindset. And what this means is that I feel like before I went to MUN, I was, uh, like I'm from New Jersey, and so I was, I was tr sort of thinking in my own world in terms of like going through the motions, this is how I lived, I went to high school, I ran track. However, after starting MUN, it's, it's really broadened my eyes to, to understand what is going on in the world, the problems in the world. And I started taking a greater notice um, to, to especially international current events. And so because of like this greater international awareness, um, I applied to uh, the Princeton Bridge Year program, which allows uh, incoming Princeton freshmen to, to defer a year and, and to pursue service abroad. And so during my, during my program, uh, I actually went to China with six other Princeton freshmen. And I worked at an NGO, working with homeless children. And I also worked at another NGO that, um, that worked with uh, the victims of human and sex trafficking. And so that was amazing because I remember in Mun, um, when I was in OAS and also Aishan, I, I was debating issues like education, illiteracy, human trafficking, sex trafficking. And, and, and because I was debating, because I was doing research and, and talking about these issues, I became very passionate about them and, and I started caring very much about you know how, how much progress was being made in these areas, and so Bridger allowed me the opportunity to get out of the uh, sort of like the, the the hotel Hershey Hotel and actually see these problems themselves. And so I remember uh, during during Bridger, I would I, I was working with one of the NGOs and we actually went on an outreach and like we, we went to one of the red light districts and I was able to talk with some of the pimps and some of the mafia regarding like why they were doing what they were doing and I was able, I was I always saw some of the brothels and, and, and understood sort of like the underlying socio economic reasons for for why uh, like sex trafficking occurred. And, and it was just it was just very powerful for me because just a couple of years ago I was debating them and now you know I was seeing these issues in my very own eyes and I feel like it was because of model UN that you know, I became passionate about these issues and I wanted to to, to take a greater understanding of regarding like uh, why they occurred and how to better combat them uh, in addition I think model UN has also influenced my major at Princeton uh, I'm majoring in the with the Woodrow Wilson School of International and Public Affairs and I feel like it's because of uh, mine that I like mine was a huge reasons why I became interested in international relations and public policy, and uh, and I feel like you know if I didn't do mine, I probably would not be uh, ending up on this route right now. The second reason why the second reason mine uh, influenced me is in, just in terms of leadership. And I remember being an officer, how it's shaped me to to think, collaborate, to to put others before myself. And one thing, I, one aspect I really admire of about MUN leadership training is it's emphasis on service, specifically servant leadership. And I feel like just going through the, the, the weekly, I mean, not the weekly, but like the Mount Laurel meetings and talking to Curtis, I was very humbled by, uh, by the emphasis on, you know, like putting others before yourself. And for that, I'm really grateful. And my third reason is, is MUN has given me confidence and, and, and in two ways. So the first way is that, like, I remember uh, before I went MUN, I was, I was a little bit timid public speaker, but be going to mind has given me confidence to, to express my voices, to, to not be afraid of what I say, to, um, to just stand up, to raise my placard and just, you know, if I mess up, it's okay. And number and the second way is that it's given me confidence for like the vision of my life, and and it's shown me that you know we as a generation and, and me and me in the position I am like we we can make a difference. And and I remember like during our year, uh, we our, our fundraiser, our service project was was uh, was was education, and so we collected and donated books. And, and so for specifically for me, uh, one of my goals in life is to become like. Uh, so going to like U.S. China diplomacy, I'm really interested in that. Um, perhaps like one day, like becoming the U.S. ambassador in China, that'd be awesome. But regardless of like, what happens, it's giving me a confidence to pursue my dreams and know that I can uh, make a difference in this world. And so overall, like Mun has been a huge family. Mun family is just the Mun family is incredible, 
and and I'm just so grateful for the role Mon has played in my life. Thank you.